Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and today I have come up with a very interesting and amazing problem. It's an original problem and it's from kinematics plus uh, you can say laws of motion. So here is the statement of uh, this problem. There is a massless square frame through which four identical massless and inextens inextensible strings are passing. The strings are also passing over four pulleys which are fixed at uh, four supports lying in the same horizontal plane symmetrically at a given instant the string between pulley and frame is making angle of theta with the horizontal plane both the ends of all strings are connected with the idea uh, with identical point masses each one having mass of m naught so here you can see this string the two ends are connected uh, with the help of two point masses so this is how this uh, system is the system lies in uniform gravity what is the acceleration of uh, frame just after release so as you can see this is the diagram and uh, we are releasing this system this is the three-dimensional view of it and uh, from the top it is going to look like something like this so when we are going to release this we have to see how exactly this massless uh, body will behave so let's discuss the concept part of this problem. As you can see, for a massless body, net force acting on the body will always be zero. And or you can say F net is equal to mass into acceleration of center of mass. Since mass is zero, I can say net force is going to be zero. However, normally students will have this misconception that uh, if acceleration uh, acceleration they will write as f by m and they will feel that mass is tending to zero so body may have infinite acceleration this is a wrong concept it's a misconception it's not always true the correct concept will be on massless bodies net force will be zero instead of uh, calling its acceleration to be infinite which is wrong here so please remember this part now we are going to draw the FBD uh, free body diagram of uh, this uh, frame. So you can see here uh, in the original diagram, you can see here there will be a vertical component of tension and another tension in this plane and one tension here. So these are the three forces which are going to act at uh, every contact. So this tension, one vertical, one horizontal like this. Uh, for this tension will resolve in vertical and this one is down and this one is horizontal similarly for uh, this horizontal vertical and this downward so these three tension components will be present so let's see the fbd in the next diagram so here it is so this t cos theta will be acting uh, we are seeing from the top this is the top view so t cos theta will be this side and t sin theta will be out of the plane okay this was the frame so t sin theta t cos theta and t so t sin theta is upward t cos theta is lying in the plane of the frame and this uh, capital t which is due to the inner string here due to this inner string it is going to act in downward direction t cos theta in uh, t sin theta in upward direction t cos theta this side i hope it is clear to you so at each corner we are going to draw these three forces you can see here t cos theta in the plane t sin theta out of the page t into the page similarly this one similarly this and similarly here i'm drawing this so this is the top view now let's assume for a moment if this was having mass so first thing uh, here side view wise also you can see that this uh, t cos theta t cos theta will appear like this they are going to get cancelled actually it will be t cos theta this component t cos theta this component which i'm not drawing because they are going to anyways cancel each other so they will be overlapping that's why i have drawn it like this otherwise correct one uh, would have been in this manner t cos theta uh, 1 by root 2 and in vertical 2t sin theta due to this due to this side view uh, wise they will appear in this manner similarly here 2t sin theta 2t downward 2t downward let's say mass of the frame is mf so mf into g and it is moving down with acceleration of af frame is moving down with the acceleration of af let's assume that and this vector sum of t cos theta is going to be zero 
so that is what i have written here vector sum of t cos theta is zero and if you write the equation of motion of it mass of the frame into g minus uh, 40 sin theta plus 40 is equal to mass of the frame into acceleration of the frame since these two quantities are zero so i can write t times uh, 1 minus sin theta is going to be zero since theta is not 90 degrees sin theta cannot be one so since this term is non-zero definitely this t is going to be zero and if t is zero if this tension in the string all the strings this tension t is going to be zero i can say all point masses will fall down with acceleration of uh, g downward as the tension in the string is zero it's a very interesting uh, phenomena you can see this mass is also coming down this mass is also coming down and let's see in which direction this frame will go you'll be surprised with the result that frame is also going down all three masses are going down uh, frame is massless actually so the point mass and the frame will move in such a way that the length of the string remains constant as strings are inextensible so my feeling normally would be that uh, if these two masses are coming down the frame must move up in order to compensate for length let's check if that happens or not so at any given instant this is the tension uh, this is the location of frame in dt time let's say frame is going up by a distance of y in the same dt time this mass is coming down with dx this is also coming down with dx in such a way that this length l1 l2 l3 its sum is going to be constant because this length of the string is constant all right so now i'm going to write this length initially was l1 plus l2 plus l3 at any given time also this uh, has to be true only so earlier what was l1 now it has become l1 plus dx that is what i have written l1 plus dx is the new length this side all right N new situation of the string is this this is the new shape of the string and that should be equal to this old length okay uh, by the way till uh, this is the initial one more time let me repeat this is the initial string after some time this is how the new shape of string will look like in my diagram so now l1 has become l1 plus dx l2 has become <coughs> this side it is going down uh, by dx so l3 plus dx plus dy l3 plus dx plus dy similarly here you can see since uh, the, these are very differential elements very small elements so if this angle is theta this angle is uh, 90 minus theta and these angles are not going to change significantly because these uh, displacements are very very small in the next dt time it is going up by dy but this angle is almost theta only under that assumption i if i drop a perpendicular here i can say this length and this length are nearly same approximately same so the length which uh, this string is losing here is dy sin theta so l2 this new length here earlier which was l2 now it will become l2 minus dy sin theta i have substituted here uh, substituted it here now if i simplify i am going to get dy by dx is equal to minus minus times 2 dx by 1 minus sin theta this term is positive so definitely dy is coming negative means frame is also coming down all right now uh, if you differentiate this by dt and dt both side uh, just multiply with dt and dt both side this dy by dt will become velocity of frame and this dx by dt will become velocity of those point particle so i'll be getting this relation but i have to find a relation between accelerations so here i can write if i differentiate it one more time now i need to differentiate uh, theta is also going to change so i'll be writing it as uh, differential of first function uh, first function times differential of second plus second function into differential of first one so when i differentiate this uh, d by dt of vp will become ap theta is constant i'm keeping for uh, first part so it will be like this plus now i'm going to uh, take this part 
outside this second function so 2 vp times t by dt of 1 minus sin theta so that depends on theta but at the initial instant just after release this vp is actually zero otherwise i had to differentiate this substitute the value of sin theta that would have been little more uh, calculative so at initial instant vp is zero velocity has not developed so i can simply write this acceleration of frame as two times acceleration of particles uh, times divided by one minus sine theta since ap is g i can write this acceleration of frame is going to be 2g by 1 minus sine theta and its direction is going to be in downward direction this is going to be the answer for my problem this is going to be the answer for my problem i hope it is clear to everyone if it is clear to you and you have enjoyed this problem please leave a like share it with other students and teachers and uh, share as much as you can it will help me I'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem. Thank you. Thank you very much.